the most important topic in the Indo-Myanmar economic relation is the cooperation through connectivity. Connectivity is the key point or the key aspect of Indo-Myanmar economic relations. So in order to improve our connectivity with Myanmar, India have been instrumental in upgrading the infrastructure in Myanmar and for that we have started two very very important projects. One is the Kaladan multimodal project and then we have the trilateral highway project between India, Myanmar and Thailand. So let us start with the Kaladan multimodal project. As I said before, it is a very very important topic. Let us start with uh, what are the major objectives or goals of the Kaladan multimodal project. It aims to make uh, roads connecting India to ASEAN, then development of Northeast, economic cooperation between India and Myanmar. And another key goal of this Kaladan multimodal project is to have an alternative, alternate market for Myanmar's natural gas. And another area where the Kaladan multimodal project will be highly beneficial is to reduce India's geographical vulnerability with respect to the Siliguri corridor or the region what we call as the chicken snack. Now I will explain this portion with the help of a map. This is a map of India. Now if you look closely you can see that the mainland India is connected to the northeast mainly through a very narrow geographical region and this very narrow geographical region is called the Siliguri Corridor and it has been called by many names like Geography's Curse to India, then Chicken's Neck. So this is a very narrow region and at uh, its narrowest point it only has a width of around 17 miles or 27 kilometers. So this is a big problem to India and then again this is a very geographically hostile region like there are frequent landslides and other natural disasters happening in this particular region. Since this is a geographically narrow region as well as a very natural disaster prone region, it is very difficult to transfer industrial goods to the northeast through the Siliguri corridor and the only alternative might be to transfer commodities through the sea route. But then again if you take a look at the northeast we can see that northeast is also a landlocked territory. So this has led to some sort of alienation of the northeastern people with respect to the rest of India. That has led to many of the separatist movements in northeast. So in order to resolve this issue what we can do is that we can request Bangladesh to give access to the Chittagong port which is very near to Agartala. But the problem was that in the past Bangladesh has consistently refused to give India access to the Chittagong port. So that was one reason why India came up with the Kaladan multimodal transport project. So we needed some sea connectivity to the northeast but access to the Chittagong port was impossible. So this has really hammered the economic integration of the northeast with India. So then we started the Kaladan multimodal transport project. So what is Kaladan multimodal transport project all about? So first you will be having a sea route of Kaladan multimodal project. Here you can transfer industrial goods from Kolkata to Situe port, a port India is developing in Myanmar. So first you have a 539 kilometer sea route. Then from Situe port to Paletua region in Myanmar you have the Kaladan river. And from Situe to Paletua this Kaladan river is navigable. So we will be using the river route from Situe to Paletua. And from Paletua to the Indo-Myanmar border the problem is that the Kaladan river is very shallow due to rapids and all. So from Paletua to the Indo-Myanmar border we will be using the road route. So you have a sea route, then you have a river route, then you have a road route. So this is why the Kaladan project is called a multi-modal transport corridor. It is a very unique form of transportation. 
So now this entire project is centered on the Kaladan River. Kaladan River, River originates from Chin Hills in Myanmar, then it flows to Mizoram, then it uh, goes to Sitwe and ultimately it ends up in Bay of Bengal. Kaladan multi-model project have three phases. You have a sea link from Kolkata port to Sitwe port and from there Kaladan River is navigable from Sitwe to Kal Paletua. So from Sitwe port to Paletua in Myanmar, we'll be using a waterway. And from there onwards, in the Kaladan River, you have a shallow water depth as well as rapids. So from Paletua to the Indo-Myanmar border, we'll be using road transport. Now in completing the project, you'll be having three phases. So the first thing to do is to dredge and modernize the Sitwe port. Then we need to dredge sections of the Kaladan river. And the final area in completing the Kaladan multimodal project will be to construct roads from Myanmar to Mizoram. So now let us take a look at the Sitwe port. Sitwe port is developed by India, is being developed by India, but it has been delayed due to the development of the port has been delayed due to the Myanmarese government taking time to hand over the land and road. The deal was signed on 2008 but the work only got started in 2011 and uh, the estimate of the project was around 2900 crore and it was aimed to be completed by 2016. By now it, it is almost con completed. Now, what are the major advantages offered by the Kaladan multimodal project? It will be reducing the distance from Kolkata to Sitwe by approximately 1,328 kilometer, which is a considerably high distance. Then it will be providing a sea route for products from the northeastern region and it will also contribute to the development of Myanmar. But there are many issues associated with the Kaladan multimodal projects. One major problem was that uh, there was the wrong estimation of road length in Myanmar and that has delayed the Kaladan project. Now another major issue is that Myanmar has constructed two hydroelectric projects or hydel projects on two tributaries of the Kaladan river and due to this uh, river depth might be reduced and the navigation of boats might get affected. That is again a major issue. And there has been, like I said before, many delays in the Kaladan project. So due to that, cost has been significantly increased. And the Ministry of External Affairs has reported that there is no effective monitoring on the Kaladan project. And th this has again led to increased cost. And another big issue is the fragile environment of the Northeast. Northeast is a biodiversity hotspot and as well as it's a politically fragile region also. So this, so this fragility of the Northeast is also a major issue and several of the environmental activists has been protesting against the Kaladan multimodal transport project as well. Then they, ha they have faced many land acquisition and local displacement issues with respect to the project. And another major problem is the insurgency in Rakhine and Chin regions. Like I said before, the Rohingya insurgency in Rakhine state and all will be highly detrimental to the success of the Kaladan project. So this uh, project faces uh, another level of challenges like uh, the Rakhine and Chin region are very underdeveloped region with uh, very uh, very bad infrastructure and all. And this poor transport facilities will be affecting the Kaladan corridor as well. And this has been a very unique multimodal system as well. And that might be a huge challenge before the engineers also. So I hope you have got an idea about Kaladan multimodal transport project. It is a very, very important topic in India-Myanmar relations. Then another very important connectivity project between India and Myanmar is the trilateral highway 
this is the trilateral highway between India, Myanmar and Thailand and this will be connecting the Mekong sub-region to India and this can improve India's ties with the other Mekong Ganga cooperation organization countries and this will be instrumental in improving the Indo-ASEAN relations as well. So now let us go into more detail. So this trilateral highway, it initially the plan was to start the trilateral highway from Moray in Manipur and from there it will be passing through Naipidao in Myanmar and from there it went to Thailand. So this was the initial plan. Then in order to further improve the regional integration through the trilateral highway, there has been an Indo-Myanmar-Thailand motor vehicle agreement which was getting negotiated and this will be regulating and enabling passenger as well as cargo vehicle and personal traffic between cross-border traffic between these three countries. Now India is not very interested on the MVA if the trilateral highway doesn't get completed on time. So what are the major issues or challenges before the trilateral highway? One main problem is that there has been many delays in the completion and on the Indian side we often have very bad infrastructure on the northeastern side. There are several damaged bridges on the Indian side and all. And another issue now is that now there is a new democratic government in Myanmar and now this new democratic government is saying that this MVA was negotiated during the time of the military establishment and we need to renegotiate the motor vehicle agreement and all. And now another major idea in that was flown in Indo-Myanmar relations was to extend the trilateral highway to other CLMV countries. So CLMV stands for Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar and Vietnam. Especially India wants to, wanted to improve its relationship with the Vietnam under the prospects that Vietnam was a partner of the Trans-Pacific Partnership with the United States. Now with the advent of a Trump presidency, the future of the Trans-Pacific Partnership looks very bad. And uh, another idea of India is to connect the trilateral highway with the, the free trade zone which we are planning to develop at the Sitway port. And in the 2006 India ASEAN Foreign Ministers meeting, India has also proposed to the ASEAN countries to cooperate more on the free trade area that was being built based on the Sitway port. So now this is a this is the plan of the extended trilateral highway. Now from India it goes to Myanmar, from there it goes to Laos, Thailand, from there it goes to Vietnam and all. 